All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Athenian Stranger Mathematics tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find a missing value using some geometry. All right, so here's an example that comes from chapter one. This is a line segment, and as you see, it's broken up into pieces. What we are given is that if line segment EG equals 93, find the value of X. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got and breathe in and out and realize that we've seen this before. This is something we can do. Okay, let's first take a look at what we are given. If segment EG equals 93, so if the distance from E all the way over to G is 93, we need to know what the value of X is. So in order to understand how to solve this problem, we have to notice that they're telling us the distance from E to F equals 8X minus 14. Likewise, the distance from F to G equals 2X minus 3. So the distance from E all the way over to G is the sum of these two distances, EF plus FG. All right, so EF is equal to 8X minus 14, and FG is equal to 2X minus 3. So we have to add these two segments. We can say EG segment EG is equal to the sum of segment EF plus segment FG. Now all those letters make it confusing, so let's, let's replace these letters with what we're given. We were told that EG, segment EG is 93. All right, so we'll replace EG with 93. We'll say 93, that's the total distance from E all the way to G, is equal to the distance from E to F, okay, EF, segment EF, which is 8X minus 14, 8X minus 14, plus the distance from F to G, which was 2X minus 3, 2X minus 3, okay? So now we just see that we have a little algebra problem to solve. Not too bad. So. If you were nervous before, now we're going to go into something we've done many, many times. The very first thing we do is combine like terms. Combine like terms. This time we're on the right side of the equation. So we have like terms here. We have 8x, and that has a common term with 2x. So we'll combine 8x and 2x, and then we have negative 14 and we're going to combine that with negative 3. All right, so first we'll do the, the x's. So we rewrite what we have on the left side. 93 is equal to 8x plus 2x. So you add the coefficient 8 to the coefficient 2, and you get 10. So you write 8x plus 2x is 10 x 10 x and now we add these numbers okay negative 14 and negative 3 so what is negative 14 plus negative 3 so if you have two negative numbers negative 14 and you're going to add to negative 14 another negative number negative 3 you're going to end up with a bigger negative number Okay, so negative 14 plus negative 3 is negative 17. Okay, so that means that 93 equals 10x minus 17. Okay, so now we've combined like terms on the right side of the equation. So now it's time for us to move this negative 17 over to the left side. So we'll add 17 to both sides because we have a negative 17 right now. We have to do the opposite. 
We're always doing the opposite. So we add 17 to both sides. Okay, and then see where you are. Balance, balance your equation. So on the right-hand side, I've added negative 17 to positive 17, so I get 0. On the left side of the equation, I have to actually add 93 plus 17. So 3 plus 7 is 10. Carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So I have 110 on the left equals, you bring down this 10x, 10x plus 0, okay, plus nothing. So let's rewrite this to clean it up. We have 110 equals 10x. We're almost done. One last step. So on the right side of the equation, we have the coefficient 10 multiplied by the variable x. So if I've got 10 times x on the right, what do I do to get rid of the 10? Well, I've got to do the opposite of whatever is currently being done. Currently, 10 is being multiplied by x. So to get rid of it, I have to divide both sides by 10. Just like that. So now let's do that. Let's balance the equation by saying, well, what's 10x divided by 10? Well, 10 divided by 10, anything divided by itself is 1, so these cancel, leaving behind just 1s, little 1s here. We don't even write them. They're invisible. Okay? So let me write an equal sign here. On the right-hand side, all that's left is the x. So whatever 110 divided by 10 is, is what x equals. So 110 divided by 10 is 11. Okay, so 11 equals x. All right, so we solved the problem. It said, if eg equals 93, find the value of x. Well, that means that if eg equals 93, then x equals 11. All right, so that's the answer to that problem. Okay, so I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. This is not the only way to do this problem. So if you have another way to do this problem, that's fine, but as long as you get to 11. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. And please click that notification bell so you are always alerted to new videos. Thank you very much.